and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Elle and I am a beginner sewer. I thought we should just jump straight in, crack straight on and dive right into looking at the garments I made in January. I am too much. So we're gonna start with this dress. Um, I got the fabric from Rainbow Fabrics in Kilburn, which I've spoken about before, which specializes in dead stock fabric. A few other Instagrammers and YouTubers have this fabric as well. I think we all just jumped in at the chance to get something super floral and retro. And this is what I ended up making. So this is a self-drafted dress, but using the tutorial by DIY Daisy on Instagram. And it is called her Maya Ruffle Dress, but I did have to make some adaption, adaptions. I did have to adapt it because I did screw it up a little bit with the fitting. So what it is, is a dress that's just made out of rectangles. So it's super easy. There's a rectangle which is the front and the skirt back piece, which is like a big rectangle. And then the front bodice and the back bodice are two smaller rectangles and you and they're identical front and back and you cut the neckline out of them. Now this is where I screwed up because they said in the tutorial to use a neckline which you knew that you're happy with from another pattern or something or a top that you already own, but I just hacked straight into it and it did not look good because I'd cut the neckline, I'll show you, so wide for some reason that the dress wouldn't stay up. The neckline was literally like that, which obviously didn't work for me. And I'll show you what I did to fix that. And then the sleeves are two rectangles as well that are ruffled. So yeah, I, I am happy with it. It's really summery, it's really easy to wear. This fabric is just so soft and gorgeous. But as I said, I did screw up this area. I'll show you actually. I've pinned this on because I couldn't get it over the neck of the mannequin. So as you can see, there's now a seam line down the back bodice. And that's because I ended up taking the skirt off of the bodice when I realized that it wasn't gonna fit. I then cut a chunk out of here and sewed them together up the back to get some of that excess off the back neckline. And then on the front, to give it some more shape, I added, um, I don't know if you can see them, but I added some darts. So it's ended up giving it more of a fitted shape on top. Whereas in the DIY Daisy tutorial, it's quite loose fitting. Um, and I will make it again and actually follow the tutorial properly because it is, I love the sleeves. I think they're so gorgeous. I will show you a photo of me wearing it. The photo is there, isn't it? <laughs> Great for summer, I'm definitely gonna wear it again. Staying along the lines of things that I slightly screwed up, I am going to show you my next make that I did in January, which were my Jessa trousers from Tilly and the Buttons. I'm wearing them now and I'm gonna show you how they turned out. So even though they didn't go to plan I did post photos of them on my Instagram because I really enjoyed the process of making them I told myself I really needed to slow down on this make it was my first pair of trousers I spent four or five nights just sewing each evening in small chunks just really taking my time and enjoying it and I had the best time sewing this garment and I'm wearing them so they can't be that bad Anyway, I'll show you. <laughs> this is super weird filming from down here, but I'm gonna stand up and show you. Please ignore the wires or the mess under the desk, but it's the only way I could get them in. Okay, so here they are. I made them out of this stretchy um, khaki bengaline, I think it's called. Um, and the fabric is nice. It makes a lot of noise when I walk, which is a bit weird. But okay, I'm sure you can already see the problem in this crotch area here. The problem is I made it too long and I should have taken some um, fabric out of the crotch area. Um, but I really enjoy the waistband. I really enjoy this like fake pocket. And another issue is the bum. There's like a little point here and that's not, that shouldn't be there. But you know, for a first attempt, I don't think they're hideous. I've cut out this fabric to make them again. So hopefully that'll be nice. 
I'm still happy with them, but not amazing. As I'm recording this, I'm starting to feel a little bit anxious because I feel like everything I'm showing you has mistakes and it's there's no real like perfect garments. Then I just think to myself, you know, I'm not a professional sewer, like I'm a home sewer and I love these clothes and I'm sure you guys make mistakes as well and I'm just gonna be real about it. So <laughs> the third garment I'm gonna show you is this Luna Tank from Helen's Closet and it's actually her free pattern. And the fabric I got from Jess at So What If I Sew. She's a YouTuber and she's on Instagram. And she put on her Instagram that she had some leftover fabric from making a Tilly and the Buttons Nora top. I took her up on her offer because I just thought the color was gorgeous and I made this tank out of her scraps which I think is cool that we're using each other's scraps. Yeah, sustainability. I had trouble getting the fabric through my overlocker at the beginning, it kept bunching up. Um, and I didn't really want to use my machine. I just really wanted to, my sewing machine, I just really wanted to do it all on my overlocker. And it, it, it just didn't like the fabric very much. I don't know what's going on with it or if I need some new needles or I don't know. But I still think that it's gonna be really comfy even if I just wear it around the house or in the summer, I think it's gonna be really lovely. The fabric's really soft um, and yeah, I think it's a great pattern and I'll definitely make it again in some other jersey fabrics. I'm super proud of this make. It's the Rosa shirt from Tilly and the Buttons. I did a whole video on it, so you might have already seen it before, so I'll be quite brief. I made it out of scrap fabrics, any um, cottons that I had lying around in um, medium sized pieces and yeah, I. I'm actually so happy with it. It fits really well. I'm really proud of the top stitching that's quite neat. I'd never done such contrasting top stitching so that you would definitely be able to see it if it went wrong. So um, that was exciting for me. I'll show you the back. The back is a lot plainer than the front. The last thing I made in January was my Brie skirt from Cutting Thread Patterns with the fabric provided by Dutch Said So and her buttons, um, which is what I won in the competition and I posted about that last week. I used this gorgeous denim that she gave me. It has a slight stretch to it. And I made the 20 inch version of this skirt. The skirt itself comes in six different lengths from mini to maxi. Um, but I put a whole load of descriptions about that in my last video. I had a lot of fun making this one as well. Who doesn't love a denim mini skirt? Really cute. I mean, I didn't think the buttons were gonna be for me because they are a bit different to my usual style, but I think that they really work. I love that they're all different and it really like gives the skirt a little bit of something extra, it makes it not just look like something off the shelf. So that's it, those are the, I feel like I'm wonky. I've been wonky this whole time. I'm so sorry if I've been wonky this whole time. So they are the garments I made in January. Thank you so much for watching. We have some cool videos coming up. I say we, like I, part of this like whole empire it's just me i have some cool videos coming up on wednesday i'm going to do another episode in my sewing in a budget series focusing on patterns where you can buy some free buy some free doesn't make sense where you can get some free patterns or buy some cheaper patterns and then next sunday i'm going to show you all the fabric that i've bought in february we love the fabric. We love to see it. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you so much and have a lovely Sunday.